welcome. I was thinking this morning about what a gift our ability to give attention is, what an, a gift it is that we can give and receive attention. And my experience here during <clears throat> the pandemic is that I've needed to learn new ways to let other people know I'm giving them attention. Because the usual, you know, little facial cues were not available. And so I realized the other day I was in, uh, I was in the grocery store and I passed somebody and um, I realized that what we did with each other, instead of smiling, we did little crinkly eyes. You know, so that you, I, I realize now I look to what's going on around a person's eyes to let, the, let me know whether they're receiving my attention. But I also, I want to invite us to expand the ways that we give and receive attention and also the quality of attention that we're giving and receiving. So as you may know, the, uh, but I just want to review that the basic purpose of our work is to reveal essence. And the main thing that gets in the way of us revealing essence is fear. So rather than trying to talk ourselves out of fear or get rid of it, we befriend fear by turning fear into presence. And how we do that is with attention. So I asked Michelle to go into the archives and to find a video that we made several months ago because attention is kind of like water in that it can flow in many, many different ways and in many different rhythms. And so I would like to have Michelle run this video for us as a little reminder of how we can use attention. All right, great. Wonderful. And I don't know if we have audio on this, but let me just you know, you just imagine your own audio for this. So we have directing it with the spray, we have it just showering over, we have it misting. And think of that as attention, as the different ways that you can organize your attention. You can make it really big and dynamic. You can also make it misty and continuous and more like a wave. And all of those are the qualities of water, but they're also the qualities of our attention. I particularly like the ripple, that we don't realize that our attention has a ripple impact on the world, that even just a drop of love can make a difference to us and to others. And so as you were thinking of using your attention this week, I'd like you to remember that it is as fluid as water. And you might have seen some way in that video that you go, oh, I forgot I could use my attention that way. And so I'd like to just experiment first with giving that kind of attention to you. So. Does your body prefer uh, a drop of love in a specific place? Let's just try that on and see, oh yes, there's this little place in my neck that could definitely use a little drop of love right now. So I'm gonna just, ha, ah, give that. Yeah, beautiful. And notice if there are any other places that want a drop of love. And then let your attention turn outward because you may know of somebody that you can say, oh, I bet they would appreciate a drop of love right now. So gather up a drop of love and send it out because it's very clear to me now that we can send love through time and space. And so I want you to experiment with that so that you have the experience in your own body of being able to do that. So notice somebody, I'm thinking of a particular friend of mine who's going in for some surgery this week, and I'm going to send a drop of love directly to his heart, which is what he's going in for. And so let yourself experiment a couple of times giving a drop of love to you and receiving that. 
letting yourself notice how am I taking that in? How will I know I've actually received that? And then a drop of love to a person, and it may even be a person you don't know. It could be somebody who's trying to do a really good job for us, somebody in your community that you can send love to as a drop of love. So a couple of times back and forth. Ah, and then let yourself just integrate all of that with a hmm, hmm, because the hmm is like a auditory drop of love, just letting that hmm integrate in you and then sending that out to others. And then let's do the more of the directed, you saw the sprinkler going so imagine like when I'm standing or like I used to run through the sprinklers as a kid, getting that hit of that water was so refreshing, especially on a hot day. And if you've been hot with emotions or hot with feeling stuck or frustration, let that spray of attention refresh you. So you might let it go across you or you might let it go down you or up you or around you. You might turn so that you get, you get sprayed in all different directions. Ah, and then I'm going to imagine that attention, that spray of love going across my whole community. Many of you know that we here in the West are in a significant drought. And so I'm just imagining the, the refreshment of attention going ah, and all of the leaves and all of the animals being refreshed and then bringing it back to me. I particularly like to have that across my back. I don't know if you like when I'm in the shower and I can go da -da 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 with the shower. I love that kind of attention. So notice if there's a place in your back that wants that kind of da -da 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 or another place in your body that wants that kind of attention. And so letting that go back and forth, that more big backyard sprinkler kind of attention and letting it flow and noticing that even though it seems like you're giving out a lot, there's still plenty. So notice that you can return all of that attention to you. Notice if there's any other place in you that would love to have that kind of here I am, here I am kind of attention. You know, like I have a, one of our cats, Greta, has, she has no concept of I may not stand on you whenever I want to. She considers me to be her official pillow. And so she just will come and stand on me. And if I have my legs up, she just looks at me and she will actually start climbing up them like, don't you know you should have your legs down now? And I'd love for you to be that audacious in your giving and receiving of attention. Of course, there's plenty of attention. Of course, I can have attention whenever I want. And in fact, let's just do a couple of, of course, love scoops. Of course, I can have as much love as I want. Ah. <sighs> There's plenty and I can have it whenever I want to. And the love scoops can land anywhere in me. Mm. And I was also just thinking about the tenderness of attention, that attention can be like those waves that we saw, those lapping waves that we saw in the video that notice if there are any tender parts of you that are feeling a little raw or are kind of <sighs> and see if you'd be willing to let your attention be like that gentle lapping wave that you give to yourself. Mm. And I'm sure you know of somebody or somebody's who are feeling raw or tender and let that wave, that gentle wave of attention go out to them and feel it land. 
you know, like when I have my feet in the sand and the, and the water comes in over them, my feet sink a little bit more. The water allows them to sink a little bit more and allow your attention to sink in even a little bit more. Find out where it might like to sink in. Hmm. And I'm also thinking of the people, I have these people in my life and I bet you do too, of the I'm fine people, where you look at me, you go, oh, you're not fine. And you go, I'm fine. And I'm imagining that those people in your life could use that gentle wave of attention. So just letting that wave surround the I'm fine and let it sink in, just seeping in like, I know you're fine and I'm gonna give you a little extra attention because there's never too much attention. We'll call that doing a Greta. You can give them attention and you can ask for attention. Hmm. I'm noticing as I'm doing this that I'm feeling a softening in my own body and feeling more of a flow and my, my neck is feeling longer. So take a moment and just notice the impact of giving yourself attention. I actually notice body sensations that have changed. Like I have a, a little bit of tingling that I can feel now in my legs, which is great. You know, and I can feel my, my toes are wanting to wiggle. They're doing spontaneous fear melters. So letting yourself notice is another way of very powerful way of giving yourself attention, noticing. And then I would like to, I was just thinking and sharing with Michelle this morning that if you would like a particular kind of attention, like you would like to have um, loving attention, or you would like to have appreciation, or you would like to have a virtual hug, write that in the chat and do that right now because we'll collect those and then we'll share uh, the kinds of attention that you would like to have. And Michelle is gonna read that out to me. Oh, I can see people participating, <laughs> wonderful. And notice that you can do that and continue circulating your attention. You can let attention go out to the group. You can let attention come back to you. And you can do that while you're writing. So do we have a couple of them already? Yeah, yeah. we've got a lot of virtual hugs. Virtual and hugs. We have in, an embrace, soft touch, rippling. Those are, okay. those are what's standing Okay. Out. Wonderful. So how about saying those once more and just giving a breath in between each yeah. one? Yeah, so what so. I want to invite you to do is to pick one of those and let your attention go out with that and then come back to you and then maybe pick another one. Oh, yeah, that sounds you. great. So let's say embrace, a virtual embrace. Embrace. Yes, embrace. And there was one other at the end. There was more. It was there is rippling and rippling. soft touch. So yes, rippling. rippling and soft touch. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. embrace. And when you bring it into you, let yourself actually embrace you because that's a love scoop. Embrace you with the kind of attention that you want and then embrace out into the world with that soft rippling. Ah. <sighs> I also find my breath slowing down when I'm doing that. And then finding, bringing that back to you, that embrace, soft, rippling. And I find I want to pause for a moment and just let myself experience that, which is sometimes we skip over in busy world. And then couple more times out, out to somebody specific, out to a region, like you may be sending energy out to the South and Louisiana right now, and then back to you. 
please remember to come back to you. Mm. Beautiful. And then mm. one more out. In another kind of a ripple, and boom, letting that land. And then back to you. Mm. Mm. And I want to invite you, especially since you muted, to let yourself make the sounds. Like I find a kind of a ah arising for me from that practice. And I also want to appreciate you for participating in this powerful practice that I know ripples out to people we know and people we don't know. And thank you for your commitment to coming and sharing. And I invite you to let this easily become part of your week. So whether people know that you're doing it or not, loop of awareness creates more, weaves more love into the world. So thank you for being part of that. And until next time, mwah, I'm going to exit and you're totally welcome to love on each other for as long as you'd like to. So until next time, bye now.